Hey everyone, today I've got a quick PC building tutorial for you. I'm gonna be showing you how to install an NVMe SSD onto an ASUS Tough Gaming B550 Plus Wi-Fi 2 motherboard. It's really quite simple to do if you're doing a PC build. If you are interested in any of the parts I'm using in this current build, I will have them linked below in the description, but let's go ahead and dive right into it. All right, so we've got my ASUS Tough Gaming B550 Plus Wi-Fi 2 motherboard here. And there are two locations for NVMe SSDs on this motherboard. The first one is down here at the bottom. You can see the heatsink here. And the second one is right here. This is the faster one and the primary one. So if you've only got one SSD or NVMe in here, this is the one you're gonna wanna use. You can see there are two Phillips screw heads here and we can go ahead and remove those. If you don't have a Phillips screwdriver, you can, of course, grab one at the hardware store. And we can remove that heat sink just like that. And you can see on the back side, there is kind of a sticky tape. We need to remove that film there because that sticks against the top of our NVMe drive. Now, the next thing we want to do is grab our NVMe SSD. And this is an 80 millimeter NVMe SSD and we're gonna actually hold it up here in place so we can see where we need to put our standoff. So you can see there's three different spots here and this again is an 80 millimeter. So if we hold it in place, we can see that it lines up with the third screw port here. So that's where we're gonna put our standoff. So my motherboard did come with two standoffs and two screws. If you're missing those, you can grab them on Amazon. I'll put a link below to those so you can easily find them, but they're really small and easy to lose. So let's go ahead and grab one of those and I'm gonna screw it into the standoff threaded location there and tighten that down. So my motherboard came with two of these pads here as well. Now these go on top of this pad that's already here to help support your NVMe drive. It does say these are optional in the directions and it says not to use them if your NVMe drive is double-sided. Mine happens to be a single-sided one, so we are good to use it. Um, again, it does say it's optional. I'll go ahead and put one on here. Let's grab one of those. And again, these are easy to lose. They're kind of a sticky back to them. And we're gonna just place it right on top of that square that's already there, the rubber pad, just like that. So now we're ready to install our NVMe drive here. And you can see in the connectors here, there's a tiny little notch and that corresponds with the notch here on the other end. So you wanna make sure those line up. Kind of goes in at about a 30 degree angle, just like this. You're gonna line that up and maybe give it a little bit of a wiggle. And there's some tension on there and I'll show you the angle here. You can see it is at an angle and it's kind of like a diving board here. There is a little bit of tension on it. So we'll put that down here. And now we're gonna grab the screw. And again, this came with my motherboard, super tiny little screw there. And make sure not to lose that. And if we have a look at our NVMe drive here, you can see there's kind of a half moon at the end of it where it lines up with the standoff down below. So we're gonna push down the NVMe drive and line it up with the standoff here, just like that. And we'll take our screw and line up the NVMe drive and the standoff and we'll put that screw in there and just tighten it down. Not too tight, but nice and snug. There we go, we've got that installed. And now we can install our heat sink here as well. And you can see there is that film we need to remove here. Just peels off, it leaves the kind of under film there. So make sure you peel that off, it's important. And then we'll line these screw holes up like that and then grab our Phillips screwdriver and just get them both threaded. And then we can tighten them down. And again, not too tight, but just nice and snug. There we are, the heat sink is installed and we've got our NVMe M.2 SSD installed on our ASUS Tough Gaming B550 Plus Wi-Fi to motherboard. So I hope this tutorial was able to help you get your NVMe SSD installed on your motherboard. If this video did give you value, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and YouTube thinks you should watch this video up here next. So why don't you check that one out? Thanks for watching and until next time, 
Take care.